Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. I've realized that I think in my last video I was a little bit too nice to Trisha because I had a momentary lapse in forgetting that she's actually a horrible person. <laughs> this video that I'm about to show you guys is probably one of the most offensive and like horrible things I've seen on YouTube in a long time and I frequently watch Caitlyn Bennett videos. So that's saying something here. Before we get started in this video, I want to thank all 19,000 of you cuties. Welcome to the cuties family. If you'd like to join the cuties family, make sure you subscribe down below and click the like and the little bell icon to notify when I make new videos. <laughs> and since I'm currently unemployed due to that virus that's going around, I have made a Patreon. I know most of the people that are subscribed to me are younger or maybe are in financial problems right now. No worries, but if you can support me in any way, you can go down to my Patreon and support me. It's linked down below. I, I think I know what happened here. To me, it was the fact that Anthony Padilla's video with Dissociated and other people with Dissociative Identity Disorder, it was really popular and it was trending on YouTube for a while. And Trisha saw it as an opportunity because if we see in this video, she says she doesn't like to be a plural and doesn't want to identify as that. I don't, and I know this is where it's going to get a little scandalous, I don't love pronouns like they and them because that's super confusing, I think. Personal opinion, and I, that might be unpopular opinion because I know Sam Smith recently is like, I'm a they or something. That sounds like plural people. And while people think I'm schizophrenic and have multiple personalities, like I choose not to identify as multiple personalities. So I get it, but I think like- And then all of a sudden when dissociative identity disorder is trending on YouTube, she decides to jump on the bandwagon. I said that funny. <laughs> she decided to jump on the band, the bit of the white, I'm, I'm so Canadian, I pronounce words funny. She decided to jump on the bandwagon and claim that she has dissociative identity disorder. Whether or not she does is none of my business, but the video she made was specifically to capitalize on the fact that it was trending on YouTube. And that's horrible. She knew that if she said something like that, she would get views and money, and she riddled all those videos with ads. It was a clear, clear scheme for her to get money. And that's so shitty to exploit and capitalize off mental illness. Before I jump into any of that though, I'm gonna put the screenshots up here of what Dissociated tweeted about this. And honestly, reading these made me so upset to see how much pain that her and her entire system is going through right now. And I'll just read them out to you guys. Trying to convince Ruby to not get involved is becoming next to impossible. You thought we were offended before? This is too fucking far. So much hard work is being undone. So much stigma is being spread. I'm seeing systems splitting and deciding to never tell anyone about their dissociative identity disorder because of this. Years of work and advocacy from hundreds of systems being undone in a week. People making jokes about split again. Even we had a new altar appear. We've been dealing with flashbacks after the Dear Anthony video for days. She called us crazy again. This is not entertainment. This is not a subject where you can use thumbnails of yourself, cross-eyed, and call it a switch. This is not something anyone can reduce to being just about them and what they want. This is hurting people enough. Don't watch Trisha Paytas' new video. Do not reward this behavior. Try educational content from us. And then she linked a bunch of um, people that you guys can go watch if you want to learn more. Um, and others to understand what DID is in a scientifically accurate, non-stigmatizing way. Dissociative identity disorder is a serious complex dissociative disorder caused by repeated childhood trauma and abuse. DID is not a topic for your entertainment. We are not your comedy or horror trope. I know people are telling us to ignore her and block her, but this is our job. We can see our community being hurt. We see people we love giving up. We were supposed to protect you. We promised you all a safe space. We promised to try to make a difference. We have to stand up to this. This isn't about any one person or system, not us, not Trisha. This is about the fallout, how hard it is to get a diagnosis on misinformation, on people believing DID. This is about seeing you being hurt without remorse and us saying no more. And then she posted on her Instagram story she really just made a switch caught on camera video, called me crazy again, and repeated what my little said in Anthony's video. I do not want to get dragged into drama, but trying to convince Ruby to stay out of it is becoming hard and has been sapping our energy all week. This is the hardest few weeks we've had in years, not just because of this. 
So clearly dissociated and her entire system is having a very, very hard time with that. And that makes me fucking mad. She said that she's already split into a different altar. She's added another altar onto already 22 altars that, you know, uh, encapsulate her entire life and her body. She just split into another altar. She's been having flashbacks. I honestly didn't even realize how many DID systems are subscribed to me on YouTube. I was reading all the comments in my last video and was so excited to see that so many systems are subscribed to me because I love to hear from you guys. And I've been talking to them and a lot of them have been saying how traumatizing this has been because of Trish. I just want to remind everyone that DID is caused through a very, very small child having repeated traumatic abuse in their childhood. That's why DID is caused. These are people who have been through hell and back. And to make fun of this disorder, to stigmatize it, to mock it, to call it crazy is disgusting. These people have been through the ringer and they do not deserve this. Honestly, to dissociated and to all the systems that are subscribed to me and all the systems out there, you are not crazy. You are valid. We believe you. We believe in your altars. We believe in all the people that encompass your body. What happened to you when you were a kid was wrong and the way your brain decided to protect itself and keep you away from that trauma is a, a scary but beautiful thing. You are so strong, you are valid, and I want you to know that me and so many other people are here for you during this time. I know how hard this can be. And especially I've had some people's systems tell me through the comments in my last video told me that it was especially the fact that Trisha made that Dear Anthony video where she was screaming at the camera and swearing and getting very aggressive that it was bringing back flashbacks for people because as a child, they may have experienced verbal and physical abuse where someone's screaming at them that's obviously a very triggering thing to talk about DID in, in a way that where she's screaming at the camera. It triggered so many people, brought back flashbacks, probably made people split into more altars. I just can't even imagine like where she thought any of this was a good idea. From the bottom of my heart, I am so sorry for everything the DID community is going through right now. I know you've dealt with enough throughout your entire life and this is a very, very traumatic disorder that affects your everyday life and no one needs to be stigmatizing it any more than it already is. It's already an extremely, probably the most stigmatized and controversial mental illness. You guys do not need any more backlash or fallout from this. I'm so sorry that's happening, but just know that you know, the people that support you guys believe you and we support you. We don't think you're crazy. We think you're a strong human being who's been through so much and continues to protect itself and, and goes through so much. And I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so, I know you don't need to hear it from me, but I'm so proud of you guys. And we don't think you're crazy. So much love to you guys. But anyways, let's get into the video. I'm not actually watching her legitimate video. I'm watching a link that someone else posted of it because um, I didn't want to give her the views. She does not deserve these views. She clearly did this for attention. Look at what the thumbnail is. Look at what the thumbnail is. Her cross-eyed and looking all loopy. If you wanted to make a serious video where you're showing a switch, something that's very serious and very personal to a lot of people, this is a joke. That's, that's mocking people with DID. And you're telling me all these years of you filming hour long videos with no editing that we never saw a switch before, that we never saw something like this. A lot of people do hide it and edit it out, but Trisha's known for not editing her videos. She always says, I don't edit my videos, I just, I just talk and I let it run and I don't edit it and I post it. So all this time when you filmed entire mental breakdowns, you filmed entire hour segments of your life, all the time, she's filming herself all the time and we've never seen this. It's really interesting. Is it just me or is it like she watched Anthony Padilla's video and it's like mimicking the way Nin I'm not gonna address the hate of the last video. I feel like I've already done that. Where I can, when I can, and what I can. There's nothing I can do to change anyone's mind about my last video or like your opinions are your opinions and that's just how we have to leave it. But um, so today has been very draining as far as my alters go the protector is nowhere to be found in fact 
I believe he got scared the most when he, we were asked about who my protector is on my altars and he did not want to come forward. It really sounds to me like she's on drugs. Is that just me or because watching this video and this, I mean, no offense to people who, you know, have problems with drugs or know people who um, have problems with drugs. This is no offense to that. I know people who have drug problems and when I've seen them relapse and be on drugs, you know it right away from the way they act and the way they sound. And to me, the way this looks right now is like she's on drugs. That's the only way I can describe it. And it's hard for me. It doesn't just switch, but today, I caught the switch on camera. I'll just show you at the end to Boulder. Um, Tierney definitely came out last week, last Friday when I made the Instagram and the YouTube video to Anthony Padilla. I, Trish, have nothing against him or disassociate ID. In fact, a girl that we dated actually came out with a video and I couldn't watch it and she sent me a really long message and Tierney decided to respond to that as well with really nasty, don't ever talk to us again. And that's just unfortunately part of it. But very rarely do I catch the switch on camera. But lately, I feel like it's been in my mind. Like, why isn't this happening? No one's believing me. Like, I don't have a paper that says this. So everyone's like, oh, well, then it can't be real. Oh, she can't have traits of that or whatever. Is it just me or does she sound a lot more like Loopy? Trisha talks so fast in all of her videos. Like, she's known to be like a speed talker. But now all of a sudden she's like loopy and like, you know, can't really find her thoughts. You know what I mean? Kind of the way like dissociated is in her videos a little bit. She's trying to, she's really trying to copy. And so it's been in my mind and I was like, that's weird. It's like almost like being, let's say you have a superpower and you go to like freaking the X-Men University, but you can't tap into your superpower. People are going to think you're a liar and they're going to be like, you shouldn't be here, but it really sucks because you know you don't belong in normal schools. So you're just like, well, I should be here, but I just can't show it. Um, which really hurts a lot. Tyranny is definitely the one to come to the forefront the most. Um, he just did an OnlyFans and we uploaded it collectively because I support and so does T. We support him. And, and I'm gonna link a video below of an actual doctor. His name's Dr. Uh, Todd Grande, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna link him down below. He does a great breakdown. He's an actual doctor. He breaks down DID and what Trisha says. She, it's like, if you were gonna come out and talk about these things, I would have hoped you actually sat down for at least a week and really studied the mental illness. Really studied dissociative identity disorder to get it right when you talked about it. Cause imagine someone feeling like they have this problem, searching it up and Trisha, you get a lot of views. So your video is the first one that pops up. Imagine they click on that video and get misinformed. Do you know how hard it is for people with borderline, for people with DID, for people with bipolar to already get a diagnosis because of misinformation? It's so hard for people to get a diagnosis. And this is why, because people spread this misinformation. Um, you know, we kind of were like mourning him because he wasn't around and all of a sudden he gets brought back into the light with anger or bitterness. And I think that's why his twin, he gets also very- And DID, your different alters are not emotions. It's like she's confusing when I have a different emotion, that's this alter coming out. It's, that's not it though. It's like, and I don't, like, I don't want to misrepresent DID. There's triggers, obviously, like positive and negative triggers. Um, negative triggers being like flashbacks of things that happen and positive triggers being like, you know, sometimes littles will come out when you like pass by a toy store or like, like see Barbies or something. I don't know, like a, a positive trigger that a kid would, you know, want to see. Just getting angry and you being angry and saying, well, that was, that was Tina that was angry. That's not how it works. And also, system responsibility is taught and practiced very importantly with people with DID. You can't just say, well, I, I can blame Tabolter or whatever for being really angry and yelling at people. No, your whole system has to take responsibility because all of it at the end of the day is a part of you and you have to take responsibility for those actions. It's like sensitive and so I think the two of them together have this sort of connection where 
tyranny is really crazy and Tyson's really sensitive and and I don't I don't even give a fuck if people call me crazy like fuck I'm crazy bitch you're crazy too like get over it like it's just girl bye like this is the internet like okay you're gonna tell me what I am who I am and where I live no thank you no thank you not today not today this is like the worst today. acting job I've ever seen I show my peanut for what I want for how much I want and no one's gonna tell me different I call myself crazy Trish calls me crazy Trixie calls me crazy but you know it works in our crazy system okay so like if you can't get over it honey then you have to get over you too okay It's like uh, her altar came out just for three seconds to say that little spiel to us, right? Just like, we make YouTube videos and like, I always get scared when you have controversial ones. I get scared because we're alone. It's like she's copying exactly what um, Dissociated's Littles said. Everybody hates us for something I can't control. That scares me so much. And I know. I know everyone's looking out for me. But I just can't comprehend it. Because why would anybody care about me or look out for me? So I just am scared. And I'm scared when they try and protect me. And I'm scared when they try to show us. And I just don't want to be seen. <coughs> and I'm scared to be seen and I'm scared to talk. Because Me too, it's like she's trying to cry, but she can't. This is like the worst acting I've ever seen in my life. What's in you? I'm thirsty. I don't know what's oh, come on. Drink. This is just offensive. This is just really offensive. Oh. Um. I think it's. I think it's apparent if you've watched me for some time that I don't choose who, what, when, where to show who, what, when, where. The switches are real scary. And I have a scary side to tyranny. And I just encourage anyone who struggles with this or anything like this or where they can switch and not know who that person was, whether you see that or someone else, don't listen to the internet, the YouTube comments. You need to get help in order to deal with it. And I know how to deal with mine. And I've been diagnosed with traits of lots of things. I've said this multiple times. Um, schizo, bipolar, borderline. And it doesn't mean I've been given any medication. I don't even know if there is medication for this. But there is ways to control it, subside it accept it get through it and more or less embrace it and that's where i'm at and i sincerely apologize on behalf of all of us to anyone we've offended for names we call that's not what we like to do
That's not what you like to do. You do it all the time. You do this all the time. You get so angry at people and scream at them via a camera. You like to call people names. Yes, these people should be going and getting help and getting a proper diagnosis. I feel like when she says she's been getting traits of all these things and she doesn't even know if there's medication or anything, who's really been helping you? I feel like you haven't actually gone and gotten help. Um, Tyson and Tierney have almost all but have died and sometimes they come back and we accept them and we love them through it but it's hard for all of us because we all have to take the heat including our shell so I apologize and um, and then I would just hope you can forgive us Thirsty. My question is why did she set up the camera there? What was she filming? It's like she purposely did this. She's acting like she's in some sort of like sleepwalking zombie state. That's not, you know, alters are their own people. Why does she look like she's like in another world? If you're gonna play the part, at least play it right, Trisha. Like, this is just the worst acting. Why is she, like, pacing around like that? I just, I'm so confused. <sighs> She's looking at the camera. Wouldn't your alter be confused of why you're filming? Amnesia walls, like your altar wouldn't know. There isn't a, an altar that is hunger. Is that your altar? It gets brought up because you're hungry? I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. It's just awful, water. man. <sighs> this is literally the worst acting. She ate a few chips and a bag of Doritos and a fruit roll up and her stomach hurt that bad. <laughs> really interesting. That was just like the worst acting and I never ever mean to, you know, make fun of someone who's going through something clearly very bad, but like that, come on, come on now. That was so disrespectful. Imagine someone thinking they have this disorder, finding your video, clicking on that and thinking that's what it is. It's just so wrong and I feel so bad for the community to everyone who's been traumatized and hurt by this. You know, uh, people in my comments have been saying that, that they have forums that they go to talk to other people with DID and their forums have just been flooded with this. They can't get away from it. It's causing, you know, pain and flashbacks to people. Trisha, you need to stop. There are therapists, there are psychologists, there are psychiatrists, there are psychotherapists who can help you. Using YouTube as an outlet for this is not okay. Misinforming people is not okay. This is wrong. I'm gonna link some informative videos down below. I'm just so incredibly disgusted by this and I'm so sorry to all the DID systems that are going through the thick of it right now. I'm sending you all the love in the world. It's kind of cool having a bunch of systems be subscribed to me 
because it's kind of like I have low-key way more subscribers than I do. I mean, that's me under the impression that all your alters like me, but I mean, I'm sure they don't all like me, maybe they do, but I like all of them, so hopefully they're all, you know, subscribed to me equally. <laughs> um, just sending all my love to you guys. I know how hard it is dealing with severe mental illness and having, you know, gone through traumas and stuff in your life is never easy, and especially you guys having gone through it as young children, it's never easy, and I'm wishing you guys all the love in the world. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.